brief this year is all about diversity and inclusion. We're focusing on Gen Z, um, basically just trying to make a whole jewelry collection for women and men and all genders. We get to actually Zoom and work with Kendra Scott. So every week they're teaching us how they go through their designs and how they start and then how they get an end goal and then how they put it in production. So it's been really cool to see it through an actual brand's eyes. We took a tour of Texas Invention Works, which is in the engineering building, and we saw the laser printers. And then we also got a tour of the 3D printers a little bit, um, and the digital fabrication lab in general. I think engineering and how using different textiles, like something that you can 3D print or laser cut, can start moving its way into fashion. I really think that's the future. Hi, we're group one. So whenever we started doing our research, we looked a lot into whether or not people would be interested if Kendra Scott started marketing to a more male demographic. Having Matthew in our group, he was super excited to kind of introduce the idea of designing male jewelry, especially in a space that was predominantly for feminine jewelry. So whenever we started to tackle how we can interpret diversity and inclusivity, we saw a big hole that Kendra Scott wasn't currently marketing to and decided to go down that route. Our design ended up also tackling versatility and the fact that like it starts as a necklace but could be broken into two different bracelets. Whether you wanted to be, have more of just like that chain look for the day, you could wear it as just a bracelet or really combining that like combination of femininity and masculinity in the necklace. Hi everyone, we're group two. So at the beginning of the project, we had to survey Gen Z and through that survey, we found that what a lot of people were wanting was this versatility, specifically being able to change out stones. And so from there, we kind of took that as our inspiration. Our earring can be worn multiple different ways. You can actually open up the locket mechanism and swap out the gemstones. So for our earring, if you want to select a different color gemstone from the color bar, you can do that. Or if you want to do a solid metal look, you also don't even have to have a gemstone in there and can just wear it as the empty grid. Part of our inspiration came from Greek architecture. We got inspired by different archways, mosaics, and the colors used. There were a lot of neutrals, but a lot of vivid blues, and we kind of combined all of our ideas into our design. Hi, we're Group 3. Our inspiration was derived from Greek goddesses and so we kind of expanded on the idea of including nature and a lot of earth elements like leaves, the moon, the sun. So we try to make our design so you can wear it in different fingers or wear it all in one finger depending on your personality because since it's your birth chart, it kind of represents who you are. So for inclusivity, we really wanted to make the most of a product for the Gen Z market. So we wanted to make a product where you get the most bang out of your buck. So in this case, you get three rings, so you can wear them each individually. You can wear two together, you can wear three together, and again, you can wear it on any finger you want, and the stones are different as well, so each one is really special to the individual wearer. Hi, we're Group 4. Hey y'all, we're Team 4, and our creation for this project is the Monet Pendant. Inspired by the artist himself, we designed this product to be gender neutral to capture a wider audience for the Kendra Scott brand. Incorporating a paperclip chain, carabiner, T-bar clasp, and the pendant itself blends an industrial and delicate look into the whole necklace, each taking different design elements from each member of our design team. I think we just really wanted to make it kind of like gender neutral. That was kind of our main thing because we know Kendra Scott can be like very geared towards women. For versatility, I think we wanted to make sure there was lots of different ways that you could wear it. Because I think as like Gen Z, we all want to get the most use out of products that we purchase. We made it with the option that you could wear the chain by itself without a pendant. Um, and so you can like add different pendants or take away, um, or you can flip and wear the pendant on just the metal facing side and also there's option to engrave um, so you can have the Kendra Scott logo or you can engrave your initial um, or 
everything else. Hi, we're group five. We're team five and we are excited to share with you our Vita set earrings. This design gives you the versatility unlike any other jewelry. You can wear it as a simple stud or dress it up by manually sliding on the rings. Additionally, with the rings, you can also opt for wearing them on your fingers. Our Vita set is shareable, making this design an all-inclusive set for everyone to enjoy. So for our design process, we really wanted to incorporate a neutral color palette. That way it was very versatile for all genders and make sure that this piece is really shareable. We also went with the theme of love and inclusivity because with this piece you can share it with people um, and that's why it is made from males and females. Our inspiration was the theme of love which is very gender neutral and inclusive. I think it was also very important for us to show that love comes in a lot of different forms and so we wanted to showcase men being able to wear this and women but also sharing it with like your friends and not just having one type of love.